heard something like bounding and thumping through the forest down here, like crashing. Um, and it was making a sound like an owl, sort of. I couldn't hear it really well. I'm guessing it was an elk making some sort of a, or deer maybe whistling. Didn't quite sound like that, but. These are fresh elk droppings, and those are fresh tracks. I think I spooked an elk off the trail. I just heard an elk bugle twice. I decided to go back along the trail the whole way back and finally made it back to the road here. It's a long way around, but it beats bushwhacking. I have to say there's just a certain energy in the fall here. It's, I don't know, it's like an excitement uh, with the people in the forest. There's just more hunters. There was the, the gathering. Uh, people are uh, collecting and hunt, you know, getting ready for winter. The, I've seen a ton of PCT hikers um, pick some up myself, and it's just—I don't know—it's alive. There's a, a youthfulness to the forest and to what's going on out here right now, and it's really cool to be part of that. I don't always change my clothes in front of the world, but when I do, I like to tell sobering stories about wildlife. One of the reasons that I really wanted to bring a firearm this time, like I said, was because of like some of the stories you've already heard about mountain lions and bears and whatever else, and just going off the beaten path. There are two stories that my brother told me from when he worked in Montana. I don't know that they both happened to him there, or, or even if it was uh, firsthand people telling him these stories, but uh, he worked in one of the hospitals there, and they would often see uh, attacks, bear attacks, and cougar attacks and one time there was a family hiking along and a bear came along and attacked one of them they didn't have any they weren't armed at all and they screamed and tried to chase it off and it took one and it just kept coming back for each one of them
until there weren't any more. And then he was talking about cougars and they, uh, there was a family that was, or a group of people that were hiking along and a cougar came along and just uh, took them, just came up and grabbed one of the people and uh, just started taking off with it. And I don't know if they had a weapon or just beat it off, but I think they were able to get the, the person back. I think it might've been a kid and uh, rescue it, but it, it was still a very wounded individual. And it's just interesting to think that here in North America, we have lions out in our woods. Uh, and so often I like to think I'm safe. There's, you know, nothing's gonna happen to me. And it's true, <laughs> most of the time. But then there's all these incidents where something does happen, or nearly happens, and like you heard those hunters, I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this episode or the, a previous one uh, that I ran into that were talking about how they were you know, stalked. And there was another story that they told me a friend of theirs was stalked just like that too by a cougar. It's coming up right behind them. So they're out there and active and looking for an opportunity. And I don't wanna give it to them. <laughs>